name is Dr. Jesse Sanders, owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. I am also the author of the newly published How to Kill Your Koi. So over the next eight weeks, we'll be going behind the scenes and give you some extra exclusives on the different chapters that are presented in our new book. So starting off with chapter one, ensuring your new koi is healthy. So this chapter is based around the myth that my koi dealer is reputable and would never sell me a sick fish. Well, unfortunately, we have seen even the most reputable dealers have some big problems with parasites and viruses coming through. So first and foremost, some fish will actually pass through dealerships and other vendors very quickly. Um, this happens at a lot of typical pet stores that have a very high turnover. So the fish might only be with them for a day, maybe two, and that might not be enough time for the fish to actually present with clinical disease. It's still incubating, still kind of boiling up inside the fish. So they're not going to get sick until they're in your pond at home. The other thing is not all dealers understand biosecurity and quarantine. So some examples of this that we've seen is using the same net in multiple systems, not having splash guards or mixing fish that have come from different vendors in the same pond. They also have a chronic problem with inappropriate use of antibiotics not given by a veterinarian leads to resistant strains of bacteria. So the best guarantee to make sure that your fish will stay healthy is to quarantine them yourself on your own property for four to six weeks. I know nobody wants to hear this. Um, in the links below, we will outline our protocol and how to set up a correct hospital tank. So if you are gonna add some fish, first question to ask yourself is, do you really need to add more fish? We understand completely that there is a little bit of a mentality when it comes to buying new fish. I understand it's very exciting to add, you know, a new color or a new shape, but really question yourself, and this will come up again in chapter two, to make sure that you're adding the fish for the right reasons and that there's enough room and that you're not going to be potentially dumping a sick fish into a pond of all the other happy, healthy fish. So if you answered that question, you're okay adding a couple more fish. The best time of year to add fish is going to be late spring and early summer, at least here in California and most of the U.S. where this um, book is going to be coming out. So that time of year, it's warm enough where the fish's immune system is actually fairly robust and will respond well to anything that might potentially be added. And if you didn't quarantine them just right, used net somewhere you weren't supposed to, or the temperature wasn't what you expected, and you just, something happened, you had to throw them in the pond, it happens, but hopefully your fish will be able to keep up with any potential infections. So that's all about chapter one, ensuring your new koi is healthy from our new publication, How to Kill Your Koi. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll be back next week with chapter two. Thanks. For help with your fish, please visit the American Association of Fish Veterinarians at fishvets.org or the World Aquatic Veterinary Medical Association at wavma.org.